Hey, what's up? Welcome to Friends in Beauty, a place for beauty industry creatives looking to create impact, influence, and longevity. I'm your best friend in beauty, Aquia Robinson, and I am so excited because this is Friends in Beauty's first official YouTube video. People have been telling me for years that I should have a YouTube channel and I completely ignored them. I was like, girl, bye. I ain't doing that. Boy, bye. That ain't for me because I didn't want to do the traditional sense of like the makeup tutorials and everything like that. But here I am officially on YouTube and I cannot wait to share with you in this way. So in this first episode or video i just want to take the time to share a little bit about myself and what friends and beauty is and what you can expect so if that's some tea that you want to you know tune into then stay tuned that you were going to come back and I'm so excited to share with you so let's go ahead and jump into it. So like I said my name is Aquia Robinson. I am a makeup artist and beauty educator based in the Washington DC area and I am also the creator of Friends in Beauty. I have been doing makeup for eight years and I have had an amazing time, a lot of ups and downs in the industry but overall an amazing time in the industry. Um, just really quickly, my journey started off probably like a lot of other people just trying to find a way to create income for myself. When I graduated from college, I graduated right in the thick of the recession. And for years, I kind of went through the motions of like trying to find a job in my field. I have an IT degree, by the way, a bachelor's in IT. Um, but in the recession time, no one was hiring. So people are always surprised and I say I never worked in my field before. But it has definitely definitely played a role in my beauty business and I'll get into that a little bit later but for years I kind of just went through the motions of like trying to find a job just to keep money in my pocket just doing all types of whatever just to have money and then finally I got to the point where I was like you know what do you want to do that is fun and that you can make money from like that you enjoy doing and at that time I was really heavy on YouTube University like a lot of us just watching makeup tutorials trying to put on lashes trying to you know just do my own makeup and I was really having a really good time with it so I decided to you know take up makeup artistry and the type of person that I am I always feel like I need some kind of training or course before jumping directly into something especially something I have no idea how to do so I went I went ahead and I enrolled in a six-week makeup course makeup artistry course at a local cosmetology school here in the DC area called Bennett Career Institute and graduated or finished the the course got my certificate and I kind of just put myself out there like was telling everybody hey I'm doing makeup now and people were really surprised because at that point in my life I had never even worn foundation before like makeup wasn't really a thing that people knew me for but I went ahead started building my portfolio um, connecting with people with other people in the industry going to different networking events just going back and forth between like DC and New York it was about a four hour bus ride and just really you know putting myself out there just connecting with people I wanted to be in the room with people who were doing the things I didn't know any other makeup artists um, firsthand so I wanted to be around people who were doing it just to kind of gauge like okay what what are the opportunities what are the opportunities that I can get what do, what do these opportunities look like for me and I really had an amazing time I have gotten a lot of amazing opportunities since I've been doing makeup I've had the, ha the opportunity to do some work for Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, Love & Hip Hop New York on the reunions. That's really fun. I've gotten to do some stuff for the Real Housewives of Potomac, the Bad Boy Reunion um, concert. I also served as key makeup artist for an off-Broadway play called Mighty Real, a fabulous Sylvester musical. And I spent one month in San Francisco on their dime. Got flewed out, y'all. Um, I've had so many amazing opportunities um, and I always forget to name all of them but there is a Friends and Beauty podcast where episode one I go really deep into my story and everything in episode 16 of the Friends and Beauty podcast I go really deep into the story behind Friends and Beauty but I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it right now but Throughout my journey, I landed on education. In 2017, I hosted my first makeup class and it was sold out. I was blown away. And that was actually the, the moment that I realized like, hey, you're an educator. Like, 
that was another thing that people kept telling me to do that I should teach and I was like I'm not a teacher like why y'all want me to teach so bad but when I when I did it absolutely fell in love with it been teaching ever since my own classes boot camps and I also got invited back to Bennett Career Institute as their makeup 101 instructor a whole full circle moment happened and then in the course of me creating coaching programs and everything like that I created a program called Beauty Networking Mastery where I was strategically teaching other makeup artists how to network to find their dream clients and to connect with other people in the industry. It's actually something that I've been thinking about bringing back. Um, if I get enough interest, I, I'll probably bring it back because networking is a, a really essential tool, not only for people in the beauty industry, but just in general. And a lot of people don't know how to network. So I created this program. And in the midst of me creating this program, I had this thought like, well, if you're teaching them how to network, I'm talking to myself, like, if you're teaching them how to network, then maybe you should throw a networking event for them to, you know, implement everything that they learned. And like normally in my everyday life, in my family, I'm the person that, you know, throws the baby showers or throws the birthday parties. I enjoy doing stuff like that. So throwing the event was like, okay, a no brainer for me. So I hosted my first Friends and Beauty networking event on February 15th, 2019. And to my surprise, over a hundred friends and beauty registered for the event and over a hundred of them actually showed up to the event and that's kind of i've been doing events for a while now so normally that that really doesn't happen it's always like a, a large or percentage of people who don't show up but it was a hundred friends and beauty in the building and if you're like what is a friend and beauty a friend and beauty is just basically someone in the beauty industry so we have our models we have our makeup artists photographers hairstylists nail techs lash techs estheticians wardrobe anything in the beauty industry you are a friend in beauty okay so we had over 100 um, friends in beauty show up we do it speed networking style and we had a dj we had food bar all of that good stuff because my personality it just it has to be fun like it has to be fun it has to be you know a little lit or whatever so it doesn't actually feel like a networking event it's really more of a social opportunity and you have the opportunity to connect with people in the beauty industry i've done about i believe five events total for friends and beauty um we had a we had that first initial event that we had a friends and beauty brunch a speed networking brunch that was totally amazing um real good group of people came through it was an amazing day we also did a bus trip from dc to new york for the makeup show the new york city makeup show that was a lot of fun oh that was a lot of fun and i i really can't wait till uh, we could do that again but i connected so much with a lot of people on that bus uh oh we just had a good time we also did um so we had that event the brunch that one we did a um a holiday party at the end of 2019 a holiday party and toy drive and donated over 70 toys to a local organization here in the dc area um that was amazing people really came through and showed up and showed out with the, the toy donations i was so appreciative and then march 15th 2020 literally the day before everything shut down for the coronavirus we had our last friends and beauty event and I was telling people, I said, y'all better come out because y'all know when you're going to be able to go out again. And I'll be dang on if that was the last event that we've had. So actually in 2020, I had a whole, I think maybe 14 city tour lined up for Friends and Beauty. I was going to hit LA. I was going to hit Atlanta, Ohio, um, Philly, New York. I was going to Ghana and Nigeria. I had a whole layout but because of the pandemic i wasn't able to do the tour so that led me to you know the new word that we've been hearing a lot pivot and i have been wanting to do a podcast for a very long time so this was like the perfect opportunity for me um i launched the friends of beauty podcast in may may 2020 i, be I believe it was may 5th um 2020 because i didn't want the buzz to die down around friends and beauty 
Um, there was so much talk about it. People were reaching out to me, asking me when I was going to come to their cities. And, and that was the reason I decided to do the tour. But I didn't want the, the buzz and the, the resources and the community to die down around Friends of Beauty. So I created the Friends of Beauty podcast. And every week I release episodes every Wednesday. And I alternate between solo episodes and interview episodes where I just dive into what it really takes to have longevity and success in the beauty industry. Just interviewing different people to get their stories and their backgrounds and see, you know, what it really took for them because we don't have a blueprint. There's no blueprint um, for the beauty industry on success. So just really diving into those stories. I've been having a really, really good time with that because that's where I get to flex my little bit of IT skills. I edit, I record and do everything for the podcast myself right now. I know that I need a team eventually, but I've been really having a good time. And essentially, I created Friends and Beauty to have a place for like-minded and ambitious Friends and Beauty to connect, network, and build genuine relationships in the beauty industry. At that point, I had encountered so many you know, peers and students who didn't have that support that I feel like I have. I have a lot of friends in beauty who I can call up and be like, hey girl, I'm about to quit. Like, I'm about to throw in the makeup brushes. Like, I'm done. And you know, share the, the ups and the downs. Not only the bad, but the ups and the downs. And a lot of people didn't have that. So from what I've seen from my events, people have been able to form collaborations for shoots. People have gotten opportunities. And more importantly for me, People have formed friendships. I have so many friends in beauty who started off as just like, oh, I met them at an event or we worked together on something that have turned into my real life, like long lasting like friends. I could see us being friends forever. So that's why I wanted to create friends in beauty. All right. So what you can expect going forward from us is just I'm bringing in some educational opportunities because I'm an educator at heart. I wholeheartedly believe in investing in yourself investing in your business so i will be bringing in some educational opportunities where you know i'll be teaching and i'm also going to bring in some guest educators as well so stay tuned for that you are the first to know so stay tuned for that and oh my gosh i've been having fun with clubhouse so every thursday at 7 p.m eastern standard time i host a frizz and beauty clubhouse room where we just bring in different experts so we just have conversations about anything that your heart desires all right so stay on the lookout for that or tune in if you're on clubhouse follow friends and beauty on clubhouse and i'll leave all of the the links down below because i know this is going to be a lot follow friends and beauty on all social media platforms at friends and beauty we also have a mailing list tribe that gets to know everything friends and beauty first and i send out different resources throughout the week for them as well and we have the Friends of Beauty Facebook community, which is growing. So if you want to take the opportunity to, you know, join our community, you can really connect with some other beauty industry creators who are like-minded and who are trying to win as well, okay? So right now, I've just been having a really good time building the Friends of Beauty community, connecting with my tribe, and really just providing insight, inspiration, resources to help you grow. So since this is our first video, if there is anything that you need, people who know me personally know that I, I am a helper. Like, I don't mind if you DM me, ask me a question, but I really want to know what you need, what kind of content you need that's going to help you in your in your business and in your your artistry or your craft as a friend of beauty let me know i know a lot of people so if it's not information that i can provide myself i can definitely find somebody to help but comment down below leave me a comment or shoot me a dm and let me know what content you want to see what do you want to see from friends and beauty on youtube man <laughs> I'm so excited to be doing this. I'm so excited that I actually sat down and started this process. I'm a firm believer in just starting. You're not always gonna be 100% ready, just start. So I'm pretty sure this first video is gonna to be totally different from video 100, but the most important thing is that I am starting right now. So thank you so much for tuning into this first video. I really, really appreciate you being here. Please take the time to like, subscribe, comment, turn on those post notifications, and also share this Friends of Beauty channel with your other friends in beauty. Don't, don't take all this information for yourself. Sharing is 
caring share it with their other friends and beauty or your family and your friends who you think could benefit from the information that's being shared okay so let's go let's go i'm so excited to get this thing popping and i will talk to you soon okay bye